Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a Harley Quinn inspired piece of art in Adobe Photoshop. So to start with, I have my photo here. This is my model. And in the layers palette, I'm just going to double click the background layer and select OK. Now the first step is to cut her out onto a transparent background. We can do this a number of ways, but for this tutorial, because it's a bit grungy and a bit messy, we can use the magic wand tool and it's absolutely fine. So let's select the white background, hold shift to select the white background under her armpit and just hit delete or backspace. So now we have our layer on a transparent background and I'm just going to call this Harley Quinn. What we can do now is select from the bottom of the layers palette the adjustment layer option and select threshold. So we're going to do this a few times. The first time we're going to get a lot of this kind of shadow detailing in here, so particularly on the hair, lots and lots of contrast. We're then going to select both layers holding shift and right click and select duplicate layers. Then what we can do is double click on the threshold adjustment layer and we're just going to bring this down a little bit, just get in a little bit more detail, particularly around the mouth and chin. Once you've done that, you can hold shift, select both layers, right click and then merge these two layers together. So I'm just going to label this mouth and then hold shift to select both the Harley Quinn and the threshold layer, right click, duplicate layers and just move that to the top. And again, just double click on the threshold layer, drag that down and we're focusing on the eye here. So we just want to get more of the eye in. That looks good. Once you're happy, hold shift to select both the threshold and the eye layer or the Harley Quinn copy layer, as it's still called. Right click and select merge layers. And then we can then label this eye. And once we're done as well, we can also merge these two layers together. So the original threshold and Harley Quinn layer. So hold shift to select, right click, merge layers. And let's just call that Harley Quinn again. So what we have now is we have our Harley Quinn layer, very, very dark. We have the mouth layer, a bit lighter, and the eye layer, a bit lighter still. So what we can do is if we select the mouth layer and add a new layer mask, make sure you have black selected as your foreground color and just fill that layer mask with black. Do the same for the eye layer. So add a new layer mask, fill it with black. So now we should just see our Harley Quinn layer. Now on the mouth layer, if you select the layer mask, press X on the keyboard to swap your foreground and background color. Select your brush tool and I've selected one of Photoshop's default grungier brushes and we're just going to go in and just paint in that detail around the mouth. Just bring that back in there. I think something like this. And then we can do the same again for the eye layer. So select the eye layer mask, zoom in on the eye and with white as your foreground color and your brush tool we're just going to paint that eye in just to get that detail back in there. So there we go. We have our Harley Quinn coming together. She's looking very crazy, which is always good. Now we're going to create a new layer, drag this to the bottom, and I'm just going to call this background. From the color picker, I'm going to select a black color or just slightly off black. Select the fill tool and then fill that into the background. And I can lock this layer as well. Then above all of the layers, I'm going to create another new layer. And just in the color picker, select a kind of reddish pinky color, something very vibrant. And then with the fill tool, just fill that on as well. 
and I'm going to set the blending mode for this to darken and just give it a layer name of color and I can also lock this layer as well. So our eye, mouth and Harley Quinn layer, if we hold shift to select all three of those and change the blending mode from normal to lighten. So you can see it blends in the pink quite nicely into that slightly off black background. Now we're going to add in our baseball bat. So that can be any baseball bat or it can be Harley Quinn's signature baseball bat. Just right click the layer, select duplicate layer, select the document. So in this case it's tutorial or whatever your image name is and click OK. If you need to cut this out onto a background, just repeat the steps that we did at the beginning of the video so you have your bat on a transparent background. Then once it's in, you can go up to edit, down to free transform and just rotate it and position it roughly where her hand is. So her left hand in this is quite nicely half clenched so we can create the illusion that she is holding the bat. So let's just increase the size slightly and position it where it's going to go. Now the same as we did in the beginning with Harley Quinn herself, we're going to need to apply the threshold adjustment layer. So let's just call this layer bat, select a new adjustment layer and select threshold. Now we want to find a balance here so the bat still retains its baseball bat shape but doesn't lose too much of the detail. So something like this I think looks good. And we can right click this adjustment layer and select create clipping mask and you'll see this arrow appears here so it only applies this threshold adjustment layer to the bat layer that's directly below it. And once you're happy with your bat and your threshold and all that stuff you can hold shift to select both layers, right click and merge the layers together. And I'm just going to call it bat again just so we remember. And again we can change the blending mode from normal to lighten. Now we can add a layer mask to our bat and I'm going to select that same default grungy Photoshop brush and then just start painting into the bat. Remember you can use the left and right square brackets on your keyboard to quickly decrease or increase the size of your brush so that's very handy. So I'm using a larger brush to just quickly remove the majority of the baseball bat. And now I'm going to select a smaller brush and then swap my foreground and background color to white. So now I'm painting back into the mask. So this part of the process will be a lot of swapping backwards and forwards between white and black and just painting in and painting out of your mask. So this bit needs to look quite grungy, so I'm using a very small brush. Just to create the illusion that the bat is being held. So something like that. And we're just going to work over here on the other end of the bat by the hair. So just let's remove that, swap the foreground color to white, reduce the brush size and just paint that back in just so it joins up with the edge of her hair. So I'm now just going to zoom in and as you can see we've got a lot of very small details, lots of artifacts. So in turn I'm just going to go through the main four layers from Harley Quinn up to Bat and just go to Filter and down to Blur. And that just removes some of those smaller details and just softens some of the edges. just so the image overall doesn't look too grainy. Now we're going to add some blood splatters as well. 
because of course Harley Quinn is totally crazy and a little bit violent. So let's select our Harley Quinn layer, add a layer mask, select black as our foreground color and select a brush. Now I've loaded lots of custom brushes in already. You can search these on Google for grunge brushes or blood splatter brushes. And then once you've downloaded the .abr file, go up to the cog, down to load brushes, just navigate to the brush and it will load into Photoshop. You can then use it like you would any regular brush. So let's just click a splatter brush here and start just left clicking, just a single click and applying some splatter brushes to Harley Quinn. And then make sure we click our bat adjustment layer as well. And of course we're going to want to apply some there. And just switch backwards and forwards between the main Harley Quinn layer mask and the bat layer mask just to apply your blood splats and grunge brush effects as you like. So let's just try and add a few other grunge effects to our Harley Quinn layer. This is the part of the process that you can do for hours and you can spend as little or as long on this as you want. As you can see here, as we're using different brushes, the pinks are starting to merge into some shades of purple with all the blending options that we've got. So we're getting some quite nice colors coming through in addition to the pink. We've got a really nice splatter brush here. And there we go, we've created a Harley Quinn inspired piece of art in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.